In this box is a feat of geometry executed in leather. It is a spectacular, I hope, handbag that I've never seen in person, so we're going to unbox it here together. And I hope I picked the right leather for this because there were a few options and I wasn't sure and I think this is what I'm gonna like. We're gonna find out together. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Interruption Autumn here with an important message. Anytime you add a new bag to your collection, you may want to keep track of it for personal purposes or certainly for insurance purposes. And that's why I developed a tracking system. I call this the My Handbag Collection Organizer. And it's a collection of pages that you can use to track all the information on each of your handbags. This is what it looks like on the front and back. So you put all the information about the bag as well as what you're liking about it, what you don't like, notes, price changes, whether you sell the bag, and then you have everything here in one place. I also have other sections besides that that you can check out. Everything is available on my website at autumnbeckman.com. Please check that out at the link below. Now back to the video. I'm hoping that I like this. I want to like it. There's some things I've seen that I haven't liked so well. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We have a card. Promotional materials from Portland Leather Goods. We have a small item wrapped in tissue paper, and we have another small item wrapped in tissue paper with a sticker with pine trees. Cause there are lots of pine trees in Oregon. This is the bag. Well, I just caught a glimpse of it and I think it's gonna be just what I want. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <gasps> yes. Okay, you're thinking it's a brown bag. What's so special? What's so special is I think I picked the right leather. If you look at this photograph, well, first of all, before we look at the photograph, this is the triangle bag. It's the triangle shoulder bag because it's, you know, triangular shaped from, of course, Portland Leather Goods. And I will bring it up closer and show you some details in just a minute, but let's chat for a second. I love the idea of this bag. I think it's a very classic, timeless shape. I like also that it is a shoulder bag and that's easy to carry around, just very classy, right? But selecting the leather was a little difficult because I wanted it to look as upscale as possible. And some of their leathers to me are super duper casual. I don't think that's just to me. A lot of their leathers are super casual. They have a lot of what's called pull up in them, which is where the color has lots of variation. So it can go from this very dark brown to much lighter browns. And that's not what I wanted. They also have variations in the textures of their leather. So this one is very smooth. There's a little bit of wrinkling here and there, but otherwise very smooth. Other leathers can be super pebbly and have tons of wrinkles and big pebbles and variations of pebbles. And to me, to get the most refined looking bag out of this, I had to pick just the right leather. What I went with was based on this photograph. And I couldn't tell if it was the color I got or one other color. I think this photo makes this bag look spectacular. And this photo is the reason that I got this bag. That's what sold me on it. I would also like to maybe get it in a color. I'm jumping ahead of myself, assuming I like it. I was stuck between Grizzly, which is a very dark brown, and it's a smooth leather. What I wanted was a smooth leather with a solid color. So Grizzly, and I don't think I have any pieces in Grizzly yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing that in person at some point. Or this color, which is Cognac. So let me bring this closer. And there were a few concerns I had and no more, but let me bring this closer. I'll show you the details of the bag and then we'll open those two small items that go with this to elevate the bag even a little more. We have Portland Leather Goods stamped right there. You can see there is a tiny bit of variation in the color, but I think that's showing up more on camera than it is in person. Mostly where you see that is where the leather is stretched a bit like here. And I think you can tell here it has a red undertone to the cognac. Now in person, you don't see that so much, at least not in the lighting that I'm in. Maybe in daylight, you could see that more. 
but here is the side of the bag. So it is made from two pieces of leather. You've got a little more than two. The sides are a different piece of leather is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so we saw the front. Here's the back. You do have this huge pocket and oh, there's something in there. Portland leather goods. Your Portland leather bag. There's the possibility of excess dye on leather, especially dark leather colors. Avoid wearing with light colors while breaking in as color may transfer. And I have it sitting right against my white shirt right now. That's great. Okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyway, we have this giant pocket, which is, takes up the entire back of the bag here. Whereas on a lot of their bags, they'll have these pockets that are smaller. So I really like this. And the fact that it doesn't have little rivets like that other pocket does, I think that elevates it too. It keeps it very simple and classic. All right, here's the base. You've got a seam down the middle of the base. And then the strap is not adjustable and it's not removable. One thing I do wish that they would do is elevate some of their hardware. So instead of having these rings, I would love to see some rectangles or some squares there. I think that would be better, or at least do thicker metal on the rings. I think that would elevate it too. All right, so there's the bag. And then what's really lovely is we have a zipper. So let's undo this. Now, one of the things that I was concerned about, and I see this a lot, in the listing photos at Portland Leather Goods is you have these raw edges, so they're not glazed, that's just the suede there. And in a lot of the photos, that raw edge is, it contrasts so much with the color of the bag that it, to me, doesn't look very good. But I can tell you that in person, it's nowhere near that contrasty. It's still noticeable that there's a different colored edge on there. It doesn't look like the photos on the website. I have found their photos to be brightened too much and that makes them kind of inaccurate. So it helps me to watch videos. Let me get the paper out of here. Let's get some light inside this bag. Can we do it? Can we make it happen? Maybe we have to have it turned a little bit like that. Maybe it's better than how it was in the beginning. I don't know. Okay, so it's the suede, just the raw backside of the leather on the interior. I'm sorry if that's too dark. And there is a pocket and I was going to try to pull that pocket out, but it is sewn in. So it's just a piece of leather that's attached on the sides and the bottom. And it has this tag here that says Portland Leather Goods. Pretty little logo. I've noticed that they do, they have lots of different stamps. So you don't always see the same stamp on every bag, but there you go. And I love that it has this zipper. It does have this little tail on the zipper so you can get it started easier. And then you just tuck that tail tail back down there so it's not hanging out. That's so pretty. This cognac is one of their more structured leathers, so it's going to hold its shape a little better, a little better. It's not the smushiest, especially once you put things in it. So here it is on the shoulder. Now, let me show you the two small things I got to go with it. One is this. This is purely decorative and it's a cognac tassel. They offer a few different tassel sizes, I think. Let me check the sticker on here. This is the regular tassel and then they have a large tassel, which is a little larger, as you might have guessed. It has a rivet here on one side, not on the other side, attaching everything together. You guys are familiar with dyes being different in different batches. So this tassel, even though they're both cognac, is more red. But in person, it's really not as noticeable as it is on camera right now. All right, I've attached the tassel over here. I think that looks really nice. I may spin it so it's hanging off the end more. I don't know, we'll see. This is interesting though. If you look at the interior, the suede side, this is much more red on the tassel and this is more yellow on the bag. So that's interesting. Interesting. By the way, the leather smell here is divine. All right, in here we have one more thing, and that is a crossbody strap sold specifically to go with the triangle bags. Now, one thing to know about this, and this is another reason that I picked this color, the straps aren't offered in all the same colors that the bags are and vice versa, partly because they sell out of colors of the bags or maybe they sell out of strap colors because you can buy the strap separately. This is so soft, by the way. It feels really nice in my hand. Depending on what color bag you want, you won't always be able to find a crossbody strap that's the same color. So you gotta be sure to look at that. Also, something to note when you're looking at that, it's probably harder to get the strap. Like if you want the crossbody strap and you want the triangle bag, I would look to see what colors they have in the straps first and then go look at the triangle bags. But something else to note note is that they have what's called an almost perfect section and that's where they have 
most of the same items, I think, that are part of the premium section, which is where I got this. But they'll have items that have small imperfections. Many times you won't even notice that there are any kind of imperfection on the item. But the triangle bag and a lot of the other bags, if you look at the premium item and they don't have the color you want, sometimes if you look at the almost perfect one, they will have it. So that's just something to know. Okay, this is too long. Let me... I mean, too short. Okay, this is nice. Get up on my stool here. There it is with the crossbody strap. Now the top strap does not come off, so you just tuck that behind it. If you wanna leave it hanging out the front, you could, of course, but I like it hidden away. And it looks like that. It has lots of adjustments where it's gonna fit just about anybody. I don't have it on the longest length here. This looks fantastic. I love to have a bag where I can have a shoulder option and a crossbody option. This is one that's gonna look really beautiful and classic as a shoulder bag, but also super handy as a crossbody bag because you can just open it up while it's still on you, reach in, you don't have to take it off your shoulder to access it. And that's really handy. And I know I have talked before about Portland Leather Goods bags from the listings on their website looking very rustic to me and very unfinished. And if I haven't said it before, I do still feel that way about some of their bags, but as I've had more experience with them and seen more of them in person, I'm finding that it's just sort of a flaw in the photographs that in person they are much more refined looking. They're really nice looking bags and they're well made and the leathers are wonderful and I love the suede interiors. I love all the options you have with the different kinds of leathers and all the different colors and I would love to see more. I have, oh my gosh, I've bought so much, so much. This is beautiful. They're affordable. This is about $100. I think with everything it was probably under $150. And I do recommend the cognac color. I can say that now. I will be very curious to see Grizzly eventually and compare that because Grizzly, if you look on the website, is darker than cognac and this is pretty dark. What do you think of the triangle bag? If you got one, would you add the crossbody strap? What color would you like it in? I know I've considered the cranberry, which is a red that they have. So I would very much like to have this in a color too and not just, I mean, brown's a color, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I hope to see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.